Hey guys, we are in Puerto Vallarta. I've never been here before, but my friend's family is from here and she invited us over to spend some time with her and her family. We are staying at our mom's, our mom's, our friend's mom's apartment complex and she's allowing us to stay in one of her units for free. I don't know if you guys can hear the parrot in the background, um, but we're on the second floor and there's a parrot on the first floor. He or she has been very vocal all morning, all evening. The view that I'm seeing right now is so beautiful. I also see like a cruise ship. So that must mean that we are near the beach. We are also gonna be going to the beach. Whenever I come to Mexico, it's, it's always spontaneous. All right guys, our first stop was at Pepe's Taco. Now this place had a four star review on Google and once I took a bite of my torta, I knew exactly why. The torta was delicious. Their volcano tacos are also great here. If you ever wanna come here, come on the weekdays because on the weekends there was just always a long line outside. Now, going into the supermarket, we had to get some drinking water because everyone knows when you come to Mexico, it's bad if you drink on the tap water there and brush your teeth with the tap water water there it just makes you really sick so we gotta get some drinking water for that we also got some pan my favorite are the porquitos and the little muffins you see up there i just got a muffin because i didn't even know they had the porquitos there but i would have gotten that too now going into the chip aisle your girl likes the hot cheeto bags in the purple bag now they do have a different taste than the ones in the u.s they also do not contain red 40 which i heard is better for you The drink that's being made here is called tejuino and tejuino is a fermented drink that is made from corn dough, the same corn dough that's used to make tamales and tortillas. It's mixed with water in pelonquillo and it's boiled until the liquid is very thick. It reminded me of a tamarindo drink but with a sour taste. And if you've ever had chamoy, it reminded me of that as well. It wasn't too bad, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10. Ending the night here, this place is called Taco Sawayo and this place was super bomb for a super cheap price. The tacos here were only a dollar each and we kept coming back for more. Light on it. Look at that. right behind me we are gonna go to a beach where it's a street pier for the beach where everyone goes when they visit the area and our friends gonna give us a grand tour of the area hopefully we can get some jet ski going as well our friend's mom actually owns a jet ski business this is one of hers right here um, there's actually a couple but she rents them out for the tourists here which is pretty cool because um, she's allowing us to get on them maybe later, later on on the trip. Very excited. After our money exchange, we headed into the Starbucks and I was looking at these mugs. They had a Mexico, Cancun, and a Puerto Vallarta one. They were all 340 pesos which accumulates to $20 in the US. I don't know why I didn't buy one. I really like this one because of the whale. I think they're really good price compared to the ones in the US. 
but not only was I tempted to buy this, but I was about to be forced to buy it because I literally almost broke it. This is what you would call a java chip frappuccino in the US. They tasted exactly alike, but what I like how they do it here is they put those large chocolate chunks on my whipped cream. And by the way, look at this cute jam they put in my friend's bag. I had to film it. Anyways, I was very satisfied with my order and we were all finally ready to explore the beach. Get it! Who it on? I'll get on. Yeah, you can get on with him! I think I'll go all the way back. <laughs> oh, <I'm> scary. <laughs> you gotta ride this thing. Hold your horses. Even though I was awkwardly riding that horse, it was pretty fun and I like that they had a couple of these around the plaza that people were getting on. As we were walking around, we saw people with cool costumes on. We also saw some interesting statues and we decided to stop here to take some touristy pictures. And you know what? The weather wasn't too bad. It wasn't too cold, too hot. It was just perfect. And I was craving some chicharrones. These right here are my favorite. So what he's adding is chili, lime, and salt. These were no more than two US dollars. Very good, spicy, savory snack. I was wondering what type of sand art this guy was making and we stopped in front of this statue. We were trying to figure out what this meant or what this represented. No hate to the artist but we decided to call it the Dorito Puff God because that's just what it looked like to us. But in doing more research we found out that it's a mom crying out to her children to get off the ladder. What's pretty cool about PV is that during the summertime you can actually eat the fruits that grow off the trees. I forgot what type of fruit he was eating, I think it was some type of walnut, I don't remember, but because we didn't go during the summer, it wasn't as good. Mira, mira, mira. Eso significa que está fresco. ¿Salsa? Sí. Sal. Salsa. ¿Soy sas? ¿Español o pequeño inglés? Al favor. Bueno, español, porque no sé inglés. <risa> Oye, estás viendo que me estoy deshaciendo. Me <risa> vale, sí, gracias. Fresquecito. Con eso no la vas a dejar dormir toda la noche a la dama, mijo. Wow, vas a ver. ¿Cuánto cuesta todo? Te salen 300 el plato. ¿A qué es el plato? 300. No, thank you. Gracias. Ok, 250. <laughs> You're good. 250, my friend. You're good. Gracias. Ok, 200. <laughs> You're 200. good. 200, come on. You're good. 200 That's... for play. You're good. Gracias. 200 por plato, ven, hijo. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I felt kind of bad after we left that interaction. My husband literally ate his oysters and he said those were the best oysters he's ever had yet we rejected his offer i'm not sure if it was a good offer or not you guys let me know we ended up getting some shrimp instead and these were packed with flavor i just wanted more and more after those and we ended up coming to this chocolate store just to see this reminded me of the willy wonka chocolate factory because i've never seen chocolates like those before and ending the night we were craving some crepes and elotes i didn't end up getting a crepe but i should have I'm very impressed with this lady because she was very friendly and nice. She was bringing a lot of traction and it just goes to show that people in Mexico are very hardworking. I was also impressed of how efficient she was cutting those strawberries. And you know what I like about this place is that they double the mayo and double the cheese, which they do not do that back where I'm from. What's that? There's cheese inside, Nutella, bananas. Is it good? Peach. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Anything crunchy? 
It's like a chore. Wow. Looks good. Little babies. Okay, so we have some gorditas. And then we have a burrito. In the supermarket, there was a couple restaurants that you can eat at, and we decided to eat at Doña Tota for breakfast. Since it was a rainy day, we decided to just walk around the plaza. We also stopped by a barber shop because my husband needed a haircut since the wedding was the next day. And surprisingly, he only paid $10 for his haircut. Since it was a very long wait, me and the girlies decided to go out shopping. For all my girlies, you can find quality makeup for a good price. I was in need of lip pencils and I ended up getting three lip pencils for only $2.40. Then I was craving a horchata mediana for 30 pesos which was only $1.40 and it was delicious. Afterwards, we decided to see some quinceanera dresses. These dresses were absolutely beautiful. I liked the detail that they put in these. I loved all the colors and it was just really nice to see all the different dresses that they had. This one was my favorite because it reminded me of Snow White and I really loved the embroidery and detail that it had on it. I don't know why everyone was craving some pan so I was like, yeah, let me get one too and I got this donut. It was pretty good. Red snapper. Hey, doggy. All right, so my brother in Christ here claims that these are the best coconuts he's ever had, and he's been bragging about these since the U.S. So we'll see how good these coconuts really are. <laughs> Coconut liquor. That's strong. Por aquí empieza a salir. Estos son los ojos del coco. De aquí empieza a salir. Por ahí sale la palma y ya empieza a formarse la manzana. Ahorita se los voy a cobrar más para Se los voy a cobrar para que tenemos machete, ¿dónde? Para reafirmar la piel. Mm. Ya que ya tiene sus añitos, en lugar de cirugías, 
manejarla la... Yo no sabía esto, yo pues yo no sé manejar las redes, sí. tengo estudio. Pero ahí como pude, me puse a investigar del coco y este fue uno de los productos que sobrevivió a todos los ataques comerciales. Este es uno de los que sobrevivió. ¿Y en dónde sobrevivió? En los países árabes. De que los, todos los aceites procesados, las empresas grandes quisieron determinar el aceite. ¿Y qué comerías tú? ¿Manteca de puerco o aceite de, de ese de procesado? ¿Qué comerías? Manteca de puerco. ¿Qué es más sano? Manteca de puerco. ¿Y qué dicen que no comas? Manteca de puerco. ¿Y con qué nos criaron antes? ¿Qué es normal y que manteca de puerco? ¿Y quién se enfermaba? Nadie. Starfish. It smells like salt. Real starfish just dry. We're going to the beach, beach, the beach to get some shrimp. We should have brought some chicken. Have a torta. Oh, 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 no puede, están las piedras. Oh, this is so sad. You're evil for that. Yeah, Do that's why. Did you see me feeling brave? Look, 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 look. Also, look. You want to see something else? Do not throw objects. Both the things you did right here. Yeah. <laughs> You want a torta? Yours? Um, he could eat it. He has a smaller beak. Yeah, because you want the crocs to eat it. So we're at Walmart. My friend is getting some poker so we can play. I knew it. Chicken nuggies. Nugget the pechuga nugget pick. There's people waiting. Because it's raining outside, it's pouring outside. Okay guys, so it's been quite an adventure. We were soaking wet from running to our car, but we ended up to the Taco Sawayo, the place from the beginning, to get some tacos. Ooh, homemade crepes. Banana. Masala. We ended the night at my friend's Veronica's parents' home, and whenever we hang around with them, it really does feel like we're a part of their family. As we were eating our crepes, we were anticipating the next day. Alright guys, so as you can see, I'm all dressed up. I got my romper on. Um, it looks like a dress, but it has some pants underneath. And it's very comfortable. I went with some gold earrings and then some gold nails. We're about to head to the wedding, to the ceremony that they're having. Apparently this party is very luxurious they're going to have perhaps some butlers perhaps um some extravagant things that i've never seen before at a wedding it'll be near the beach so i'm gonna feel very rich and classy let's see what's in store the resort <laughs> de estas dos personas que hoy en día 
That's where they're gonna shoot fireworks from there all the way up. y'all the sun was setting and that meant the after party was right around the corner you know what was pretty funny was that there was tourists just taking pictures and sitting on the sidelines watching everything go down here they are getting groovy with it and i liked how the fireworks came out during their first dance <laughs> but honestly the next part i'm about to show you was my favorite I had to add that dramatic effect because it was intense and that's what it felt like. This is something else that happened just in case you missed it. I'm not getting it. It's you. I'm here for the content. I don't know how to eat it. Do I pull piece off? As the guys were out jet skiing, the girls and I sat on shore waiting for them to come back. We sat next to our friend's family and the guy you see here is our friend's uncle. He catches oysters as a business and he's cleaning it with salt water for the fam. Not only that, but he also has a good singing voice. <laughs> I didn't know that he was not on the jet ski. I got me falling. <laughs> so I look back and I'm like, <laughs> and I see Andres like floating in the water. And I felt so bad. Well, uh, we saw some whales right now. We went chasing after them in a jet ski. My friend who was driving the jet ski, I was, I was holding one hand on the jet ski and another with my with my friend's phone to capture this whale and he took off crazy and I fell just not too long ago um, I don't know if it was the end of my days if I was gonna get eaten by a whale, or if I was gonna, 
something was going to happen. But thankfully, uh, my friend came back for me, got me up, picked me up. So it's been a pretty cool trip so far. We're all just chilling. My husband got some plans. I'm not sure what else we're doing, but the scenery is beautiful. It's just good vibes all around. Looking back at these videos, you guys, I want to go back because of how peaceful it was at that moment. My friends and I are getting henna tattoos. Um, prices vary depending on how big you want it in the design. I think mine was $15 and I felt like Rihanna because you know how Rihanna has a tattoo on her hand. Um, mine came out okay. However, I did kind of like the look of it and it made me want to actually get a tattoo on my hand. After our henna, we were told to leave it untouched for 30 minutes or else it'll smudge once it dries. I think out of all three of us, Breeze lasted the longest. We were trying our hardest not to touch it. And we ended it off with some Jesus. You know, you gotta bring Jesus everywhere you go because iron sharpens iron, y'all. Good morning, y'all. For breakfast, we headed to a place called Villa Casillas. Here, they not only serve breakfast, but lunch and dinner. And I was craving some chilaquiles. If you don't know what that is, it's basically tortilla that is cut up into pieces. They mix it with some egg. They actually topped mine with steak, frijoles, avocado, and queso fresco. I would definitely give it a 10 out of 10. And like I said, it's called Villa Casillas. Afterwards, our friend wanted to show us a river that he grew up on. On our way there, we stopped by this cliff to take some pictures. Right next to the beach, there was a marketplace, little tent area where tourists were actually getting off a bus to look around. As you can see, they were selling merch, candy, jewelry, ponchos. We needed to get some goggles, so that's what we got. I think they were $5, but they had crystals, just a bunch of stuff that you can buy. On our way to the river, we went through this town, this little neighborhood, I should say, and it was a pretty rocky road. I mean, the streets were just dirt afterwards. I would say about a 25 minute drive. This is the area where the movie Predator was filmed. It's also a resort where a lot of tourists come to visit. What we're doing right now is heading into a restaurant where the river is also located. Oh. <laughs> and taking a picture with this guy, he really put on the performance because he also did the sound effect from the Predator, you know, the one that goes. We had to pass through a restaurant and we sat next to the river, which was pretty chill. They had this little seating area. Not only can you swim here, but you can also zip line. They'll take a picture before you zip line, and I think there were six lines. But if you're too nervous about going all in, they have a practice run, which was what this guy was doing. Tequila drinks is not something that I would get. Ooh, that's way too strong. So I'm about to get into the water. It looks like it's cold because everyone's taking their time, but we'll see. Guys, I kid you not, my legs were below zero. I was slowly taking my time to get in. Even when I got fully in, it didn't even get better. It was still cold. Then my thalassophobia was kicking in, and I was like, what's under here? I did see fish, which was cool, but I did not swim over the dark areas. Because I was like, let me find out there's a gator in there. <laughs> Afterwards, we decided to head back to the beach to watch the sunset and at this point it was an oyster buffet. My husband kept getting a dozen plate of oysters. 
for $5, and if you ask me, that sounds worth it. Then the elote man came. These were a different type of elotes though. These are roasted and he adds chili and lime to it. I didn't try them but from what I was told they were really good. As we were watching the sunset, I overheard this guy proposing, but I assumed that he already proposed, so I went back to watching the sunset, and I was like, oh, look at that sunset, and then I turned back, Dang, I missed it. and he was actually about to propose. Afterwards, we headed into a cafe. I don't know how to pronounce this, so I'm not even going to try. It gave cozy vibes. They had a lot of beverages, croissants. They also had games that you can play with. I don't know why he's making that face. But I got an Oreo shake and he got an iced coffee. And then I was like, let me taste yours, see if it's better. And then I was like, yeah, it is better. But let me try mine first. Um, but I was like, no, I think we're going to switch. Guys, it's just a thing that couples do, okay? And then we shared a croissant together and it was delicious. Unfortunately, there was some lost footage of our last day. This is the only footage I have of us getting our nails done. But for the most part, you guys have seen all of the highlights of the trip. And por fin, that concludes my time in PV. Yeah.